Good morning. Today we are going to talk about a three-dimensional figure that is hemisphere. The topics to be covered in this video are what is hemisphere, second volume of a hemisphere, third curved surface area of a hemisphere, fourth total surface area of a hemisphere and at last we look into some solved examples to understand the formula of volume CSA and TSA that is curved surface area and total surface area of a hemisphere. First, let's learn about what is hemisphere. Hemisphere as we all know is made up of two words, hemi and sphere. Hemi means half and sphere is a three-dimensional shape that is perfectly round. A sphere is defined as a set of points in three dimension and all the points lying on the surface are equidistant from the center. When a plane cuts across the sphere at the center or equal parts, it forms a hemisphere. We can say that a hemisphere is exactly half of a sphere. In general, a sphere makes exactly two hemispheres. A hemisphere has exactly one face and one edge. Now, let us perform an activity to find the volume of hemisphere. We all know that when we take a spherical ball and place it into a container filled with water, then the amount of water that overflows is equal to the volume of the figure. Now, let us divide the ball into two equal halves. What we now obtain is our hemisphere. Next, we'll put this hemisphere into water and the amount of water which overflows from the container will be equal to the volume of the hemisphere. However, we know that hemisphere is half of sphere, hence its volume will also be half of the volume of sphere. We know that volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube, hence the volume of hemisphere would be half into 4 by 3 pi r cube, that is 2 by 3 pi r cube. Now, we'll perform another activity to find the curved surface area of hemisphere. For this, we'll take a hemisphere and drive a nail into it. We'll tie a string from the nail and bend it across the hemisphere. We need to bend the string in such a way that the two layers of string do not overlap each other. We also need to make sure that we do not cover the flat surface. This is because in this case we are just to find the curved surface area of hemisphere. Now we'll mark the starting and the ending point of the string. After that we'll find the radius of hemisphere and make two circles on a sheet with same radius. We'll observe that the string completely covers both the circles. This means that the curved surface area of hemisphere is equal to the area of two circles. We know that area of a circle is pi r square, so the curved surface area of hemisphere would be 2 into pi r square, that is 2 pi r square. We need to remember that in this case also, the curved surface area of the hemisphere would be half the surface area of a sphere. We know that the surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square. So, the surface area, that is the curved surface area of hemisphere, would be half into surface area of sphere, which is half into 4 pi r square, that makes 2 pi r square. Now, let us look into the formula for the total surface area of a hemisphere. We have already learned that the curved surface area of hemisphere is 2 pi r square. Since a hemisphere is a combination of a curved surface and a flat base, to find the total surface area, we'll have to sum up both the areas. The flat base, being a plane circle, has an area pi r square. Thus, the total surface area of the hemisphere would be equal to 2 pi r square plus pi r square, that makes 3 pi r square. Now, let us look at some solved examples to understand the formulas better. The first question says that the radius of a hemisphere is 3.5 cm and we have to find the curved surface area. We know that the formula of curved surface area of hemisphere is 2 pi r square. Here we know that the value of r is 3.5 cm and pi we are taking 3.14. Thus, on putting the values, we will get 2 into 3.14 into 3.5 square that is 12.25 which would be equal 
to 2 into 3.14 into 12.25 that makes 76.93 cm square. Thus, the curved surface area of a hemisphere with radius 3.5 cm is equal to 76.93 cm square. The next question says that find the total surface area of a hemisphere if its radius is 10 cm. We know that the formula for total surface area of hemisphere is 3 pi r square. Here the value of r is 10 cm and pi again we are going to take 3.14. So on putting the values we get 3 into 3.14 into 10 square that makes 100 is equals to 3 into 3.14 into 100 which gives us 942 cm square. Thus the total surface area of a hemisphere with radius 10 cm is 942 cm square. The third question asks that how many liters of milk can a hemispherical bowl of diameter 10.5 cm hold? In this question, we are given that the diameter is 10.5 cm. We know that volume of a hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So first we need to find the value of r. We know that a diameter is double the radius or we can say that the radius is half the diameter. Diameter is given as 10.5 cm so the radius would be 5.25 cm. Pi is again going to be 3.14. On putting the values we get 2 by 3 into 3.14 into 5.25 cube that gives 144.7. Hence we get 2 by 3 into 3.14 into 144.7 which is equal to 303 cm cube. We know that 1 liter is equal to 1000 cm cubes. So 303 cm cube will give us 0 0.303 liter. Thus a hemispherical bowl of diameter 10.5 cm can hold 0 0.303 liter of milk.